to my channel and if you don't know me already I'm Chloe and today I'm going to do a mental health video as I feel like I haven't really spoken about it for a bit and it's important on my channel I really want to make it a key thing. Today I'm going to be talking about the stigmas around mental health. I'm wearing my mental health jumper. You're not alone. It's got all positive things down this there. How this video came about is basically I was thinking about back in high school we were doing a project for GCSE drama and we were basing it on mental health. We were focusing on depression, anxiety and eating disorder. I'm not going to be talking about eating disorders as I don't personally have an eating disorder and I think I'd have to fully educate myself before I spoke about it. I'm going to be focusing on depression and anxiety as I personally suffer with them so I can talk about it I feel. I noticed amongst my classmates was that they were unaware of what depression and anxiety were actually like and they had no idea I had it so they didn't really know when they were saying these things it wasn't like a personal dig they had no idea and I guess just uneducated not understanding it fully and that's the main reason I want to make this video because I want people to be able to feel comfortable and talk to somebody a bit better way than you would have done. So keeping that in mind that my classmates were unaware, we came to write in the script for our piece and the discussion came up about what we should do and stereotypes started to arise like such as depression is just crying all the time you have to be really mopey and that anxiety is basically like stage fright for example and that you're scared it's just natural nerves things like that and at the time it made me feel really small and I want to sort of make sure that doesn't happen to somebody else these topics are going to arise in other ways than just when you're talking about your own personal people aren't going to know it's not something that's plastered on your face we can get more people to understand then these stereotypes can hopefully be debunked so the misconceptions and stereotypes i've come up with a few and i'm going to just talk about each individual one first one that i just touched on was that depression is just sadness this is the biggest stereotype that's one of the biggest stereotypes I think people when they think of someone who's depressed automatically think someone who's really sad and mopey all the time but it's completely not true as you can feel a range of emotions when you're depressed you can feel anger frustration you can feel no emotion at all and feel completely numb and have almost just no emotion about you or you can come across really really happy and like you've got everything together you're fine you're smiling everything's perfect but on the inside you're actually feeling the complete opposite you're feeling all these negative emotions and negative thoughts but because it's not a physical thing you can't see it so it's just it comes across like you're fine you're happy you can't pick a depressed person person from a crowd. You can't go, oh, they're, they're the ones that have the depression. They're the ones that are happy. You, you just never know. And that's why it's good to speak about these things as well. Get your emotions out. And that's why you need to be able to feel comfortable to get your emotions out. Because if you're being stereotyped, you're less likely to be able to talk. Also, the depression itself, like the depressed feeling, it's hard to explain but it's a lot more intense than just feeling sad it feels you can it can swallow your whole it can literally it's very intense it's not just a simple i've had a bad day today i feel i feel a bit rubbish is that anxiety and depression always have a trigger because that's not true Anxiety can be triggered, although a lot of the time it is just literally random. Like you could be doing a most mundane activity, like say for example tying your shoelaces, 
next minute you're in a full-blown anxiety attack. Which has no explanation because there's nothing that you felt fear from tying your shoelaces. There's nothing there that's triggered it. It's just your body's decided right now you're going to feel that way. Which makes it more scary to go through because you can never know when it's going to come. It's just bam, here we are, we're in an anxiety attack and you've got to get through this for the next however long it lasts. And the same goes for depression, you could be having the best day, everything could be perfect in your life, but you can still feel the most depressed, the lowest. You would even think yourself that everything's going good. There's no real reason you've just feeling that way. And it is literally because it can be a chemical imbalance in your brain rather than it being from trauma, which is something I want to talk about as well. But this doesn't go to say that you don't have triggers. You can have triggers as well, as one of my first triggers with my anxiety was I used to be deaf or partially deaf when I was younger. And I had an operation and got my hearing completely fixed, which is amazing, but the volume went from like a three to a 10 really quick. And it was really intense and quite scary. So things like music, cinema, um, an ambulance going past would set off my anxiety because it was so intense, it was so loud. However, now I've adjusted to that. I've definitely got used to sound. I don't have that same trigger. I sometimes do, but not to the same extent. I have like other triggers now, more social based triggers, but then also still get random ones. And I did back then as well. Just been sat with family in the most comfortable setting you can think of. Like everybody's fine. I know everybody. I'm in a scenario where I feel comfortable. And then anxiety just ruins it and goes, no, you're now feeling like your body is in a panic and you need to get out. And the next thing I want to talk about is that people seem to think that mental illness is only present in adults. Well, I can tell you firsthand that is not true as I was eight years old when I got diagnosed with anxiety and then 15 when I got diagnosed with depression. So, it is definitely present in children. I think the reason that that is important is because a lot of children are left untreated or don't get heard the same because they're just seen as acting up or attention seeking, anything like that, and it's not nice. A child should be heard just as much as an adult, just as important, if not more, because if you're able to get the help earlier, hopefully able to reach recovery. And the next one is that mental illness only occurs if you've had a bad past slash traumatic childhood. And this is a big one because a lot of people think this. Although I'm not going to talk about my childhood, but I didn't have the best, I would say. But I'm talking for like everybody really here. Is that you could have the most perfect childhood, everything could have been right. No arguments, no nothing negative, all positivity, all the time. And you can still develop a mental illness. It has nothing to do with your background. It can do, obviously. Trauma can obviously cause mental illness. But it's not every time, not every individual has trauma to cause mental illness. It obviously does contribute though. Has genes passed on from other family members? The chemistry in your brain, such as like an imbalance, um, it can be literally physical things that can cause it. Not always from your past. Overall, stigma around mental illness needs to be stopped because people aren't speaking, people are staying silent and it's not good. And people are dying, literally. They say about physical illnesses, killing people. Mental illness is one of the biggest killers. Suicide rates are unbelievable for this day and age. We need to speak out. We need people to feel comfortable to speak out and make people feel comfortable.
Well, thanks for watching this video. I know it's been quite a serious one, but we will back, be back to the fun stuff soon. I just really needed to get this out there. It's been a video I've been wanting to do for a while. Sorry if my thoughts have been a bit scattered and a bit everywhere. That's me ADHD for sure. But um, I hope you got the message and got where I was coming from. So give this video a like, subscribe, put your bell notification on so you can keep up with the videos. And give this video a share so it can help people around you. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.